salvation. Wow, 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 wow. We don't have no food to Let every person be subject to the governing authority. There is no authority except from God. Romans chapter 13. So all the authority upon the planet is only from the God of the Bible. And we all know the word God is a European word. Dramatic word. So when the black preachers get out there and start speak about this God, you know, he's dealing with the dramatic European word. Because everything pertaining to God and to Satan and to angel are from the European. Am I saying it right? Everything pertaining to God and Satan and angels, heaven and earth is from the European. So the European taught the black man about God. He taught the black man about Jesus. He taught the black man about heaven. He taught the black man about earth. And he taught the black man about Satan. So it seems like in Africa, the African people didn't know about those things because the black people does not have that in their language or in their culture because if you ask the african what is the name of this man you call god in their language it's told every country is totally different They don't know the word God. They do not know the word angels. So now, <clears throat> so to obey the laws of the government because God is ordained them for the purpose of him. So the purpose of the government, they are ordained by God. So whatever you see this government is doing, they're not doing it on their own. What the United States government is doing, it's ordained by God for them to do what they're doing. No, the God of the Bible I'm talking. What the Russian government is doing, it's ordained by God for them to do what they're doing. Now, we're going to say the story of the Bible is true. Right? And what this government is doing, it's done by God because God ordained them to do what they're doing because all government is under the guardians of God and the authority of God all government is under the authority of God so do you understand that so you have to be careful of the God of the Bible because every race of people of their own God upset the black man. 
as we use the word G-O-D. African use Yankee Pong Asasi. Some African. Some use Yah. Some use Yahweh. Some use Je Jehovah. And the and more names for their creator or whatever. So the thing is that we are into a symbolic time of coming to realization of who we are. By we have been scattered by the hands of the white man. But we scattered before. But we were not scattered abundantly until the white men put you on ships and planes and take you all over the place. But the whole how black men was on the whole planet long time ago. Long time ago, black men be roaming the land like the beasts. You know, lion is just from Africa, right? But they find lion into the tar pit in Los Angeles. So how did they get here? I'm talking the real big lion. So they have to be roaming the land long time ago. Elephant in the Los Angeles tar pit, California. So they have to be roaming the land long time ago. Saber cats, all of those belong to Africa. So all these stuff have been scattering all over for a long time. But the white men came in existence and changed everything around. So now you believe what he said. And you are still mumbling amongst yourself. Is he right or he is not right? Because you know he's not right. He makes things to fit his way. You know he makes the Bible to fit his way. And all the people of the Bible are white people. Talk to me. All the icons in this Bible are white people. I can show you all of them. Moses, the David, the Goliath, the Solomon, the Pharaohs, the Ramsey. All of them here, the icon that they put here is white. So do you understand what they do? Or you don't have understand what they did? That's the point I'm trying to make. They put things their way. And their ways are not right. So by you can't overstand, you get stuck. And that's what's happened. And once you get stuck, you just get stuck. Forever! So you've gone the wrong way of doing things. Want to get big house, want to get a lot of money in the bank. Want to smoke a lot of drugs. You got people who want to smoke a lot of drugs. To, sh to let people know, hey, I'm bad, I'm good, I'm bad. I know to smoke all this shit up. So they have contests. Who can smoke more crack? So they will sit down all night and smoke up all the crack. And it's not made by them. It's made by the white man. But who's smoking it? More black people. The heroin? Made by the white man. And the Chinese man. And the Indian man. Not made by black people. Look, none of these drugs made by black people. 
What black people want to smoke them out? Introduce it to the goodie and mess up the goodie. So when the goodie mess up, what do you think happen? Can't think no more. You know what I'm saying? You can't think. And once you can't think, you messed up. Messed up, messed up, messed up. That's what I'm talking about. So we got to wake a black man and see if we can come back to the real black man or to the real woolly man and start help our people again. Leave all the foolishness alone. In Jamaica they said, you want to do fool, fool things. That's what the whole of people will tell you. That means you're doing nonsense. Are you saying a non, non are you saying a Nancy story so the people don't know what you're saying? But still it's for real. But they like to hear it. Because they can laugh. And that's what the preacher is doing. Telling you stuff that you can laugh. Look in the church. They all be smiling. When you're saying things real, people don't smile. People trying to think. But when you're saying bullshit, they smile. And they want to go back again to smile. I'm not in that. So all I can tell you is wake up. And see if we can come back to the real woolly man. And help our people. Peace.